what's going on everybody? So in this video, I'm gonna give Google Plus a proper send off by telling you guys some of the things that I've noticed about Google Plus that to me made it a better social platform than most others out there. So the first one, which is gonna be the biggest one, is the atmosphere. The atmosphere of Google Plus was very mature. Now, if you looked hard enough, you could probably find some silly nonsense type, um, very immature type stuff posted on Google Plus. I'm not saying it was never there, but it was never in your face type of thing. Majority of the stuff, you know, it was just from people that I see on Google Plus, you know, either they were photographers showcasing their photo skills or, if, you know, if they were bloggers sharing, you know, what they what they um, typed up and for everyone else to read. And, you know, a lot of stuff in the geek world, you know, technology, mobile technology, Android, and even um, iOS and, and uh, Windows Mobile. You can find communities and people interested in those types of things. So it made for a very mature atmosphere for where you can hold intellectual conversations with people, even sometimes when they blew up into, you know, battle of the wits. But the point was, was that it wasn't very kiddish. It was more mature. So I really loved that about Google+. Number two which is a big one, is that it wasn't stuffed with a bunch of just find out what kind of villain you are, you know? Like, it kept directly to what you were interested in in your feed. So you didn't get a lot of um, stuff shoved in your face again, like these little weird games that analyze your data to tell you what kind of bird you are. But, you know, it, it, was, it, was, a good it was a good place. I didn't have none of that. And so I really loved Google Plus for that. Uh, number three would have to be the um, it, you didn't feel swayed to have to always deal with current events. Now, I know some people love to keep up with current events, and that's why we have Google News. If you want to read news articles, know about what happened in your city, what's happening nationally, you can do that through Google News. Google Plus kind of kept that out of the scene. Like, you still seen from like websites like Fox that would post their news articles on their feed, but it was never like put in like a video like, watch this person cry. Um, as he gave a homeless person 500 bucks, you know, like it, you, you never saw those types of videos like push to the forefront, like right then and there. You never saw, um, you know, Trump news or anything like that on Google Plus, like the push to you. If you wanted news, you'd follow a news publications page and then it would show up in your in your timeline feed. But if you didn't like any of that stuff, you would never see it on your timeline feed. And that's one thing that I really loved about Google Plus was that they didn't push things to your face. It was there if you chose to follow it. Four was the amount of geeks that's on there. I kid you not, there's a lot of people out, out there and that's where I, you know, like I would interchange ideas with people and also learn some things myself that I didn't know about. You had just a whole ocean of geeks and nerds that you could just learn from. That was so awesome. And the communities there was just spot on. So, um, Yes, at times it wasn't a very friendly place, especially if you came in without actually contributing some real um, intellectual conversations to the community. You would get flamed pretty bad by people on there because they weren't into that whole, you know, like um, F, you know, F Google or F Apple. Um, you'd have to you'd have to really like put out a reason why you felt that way for people to actually engage with you. If you put something as simple as that. Don't mind my dog. My dog just, for some reason, is barking so much. But if you um, just put something like that, just be expecting people to pretty much challenge you to kind of get it out of you of why you put something like that. And if you have no real uh, thing to say, then they'll call you out on it. Um, and so I'm really going to miss that about Google+. Plus. Um, it was like, you know, it, th those are just some of the things that I feel about Google+, Plus that, you know, for me, made it a better experience. I was never one person that really like cared about you like the user interface of it. Um, the same with Hangouts. People hated Hangouts and for its color or whatever. I didn't hate Hangouts. I saw it for what it was. It was an all-in-one messenger, and that's what we wanted on Android. And so that's why I was like, you know, it's cool with it. I didn't care to me what the color of the app was or anything like that. And the same goes for Google+. Plus. Um, the, the, the idea about it was just straightforward. That's what I really liked about Google+. Plus. It was straightforward with you. No BS. None of that stuff. Um, it wasn't like a three a three tier cake with frosting on it, you know. It was just a you know a nice piece of fruit, basically, straight to the point, sweet, good to have, and you know no sides. So um, the fact that Google Plus is going away, you can really see it on Google Plus right now. Like people are really voicing how upset they are about it going. 
Um, well, then a lot of people will be like, well, Facebook is better than this and that. I really don't care what you prefer to use for your social, for your social network. Um, but for a lot of us that really liked Google+, Plus, we're losing out because it's shutting down April 2nd. So I just kind of wanted to share with you guys some of the things that I loved about Google+. Plus. Um, and you know what, if, if, I, if there's something that maybe you guys love about Google+, Plus that I didn't mention, feel free to comment in the comment section of the video. Let's give Google+, Plus its, uh, its fair send-off. Again, apologies for my dogs barking. They're, they're weird about that. But other than that, guys, thanks for checking out this video. As always, leave a comment, drop a like if you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, I will talk to you guys later because it's cold outside. For some reason, a cold front came in and it's like really cold. Like there's a wind chill and everything. So, whew. all right, peace.